Hello YouTube, Vlogger Nerex Rance here and this week I'm going to be doing the fourth video in my anti-vigilante series. In this video I'm going to be ranting about the role that Fox News or more specifically Bill O'Reilly had in the lynching of Dr. George Tiller. And yes I know this happened six years ago. My channel's four and a half months old. I didn't actually know about this until a couple of weeks ago. So, let's give a bit of background as to the links between Fox News, or more specifically Bill O'Reilly, and the lynching of George Tiller. For four years before George Tiller was lynched by Scott Roeder, on more than 20 occasions, in fact, on something close to 30 occasions, Bill O'Reilly and other people in Fox News called George Tiller, Tiller the Baby Killer. We have video evidence of this. In fact, here it is. Now, we have bad news to report that uh, Tiller the baby killer out in Kansas acquitted, acquitted today of uh, murdering babies. I wasn't in a courtroom. I didn't sit on the jury. Uh, but there's got to be a special place in hell for this guy. Tomorrow, the Senate will debate whether Kansas Governor Kathleen Sebelius should be confirmed as a new Secretary of Health and Human Services. Check would like to point out. The governor recently vetoed a bill that placed restrictions on late-term abortions in Kansas. The bill was introduced because of the notorious Tiller the Baby Killer case, where Dr. George Tiller destroys fetuses for just about any reason right up until the birth date for $5,000. There's no question Ms. Sebelius is one of the most pro-abortion politicians in America. Why Barack Obama would be so, and I'm using this word, and it could be a wrong word, callous in the abortion realm. I mean, the guy puts Sebelius in as a health and you, you can't get a more fanatically, and, and that woman is pro-abortion. She wants the babies done for. This is, she supported Tiller the baby killer out there. So enough with her. For $5,000, Tiller the baby killer, as some call him, will perform a late term abortion for just about any reason. You should be very disturbed by what continues to happen in Kansas. This man, Dr. George Tiller, known as Tiller the baby killer, is performing late term abortions without defining the specific medical reasons why. I wanted George Tiller and Tiller the baby killer going, hey! Oh, I can make yeah. more money okay. killing babies now. Tiller the baby killer, as some call him. Dr. George Tiller, known as Tiller the baby killer. Tiller the baby killer, which w was the doctor's well-known nickname. Which is in context because the state of Kansas has produced compelling evidence that Tiller sometimes terminated viable fetuses for trivial reasons. And the process was brutal. Yeah, I think we can see where Scott Roeder got his motivation to lynch George Tiller from. And it wasn't like Rodney Larcombe, where he was just killed in his own home. Oh, no, 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 no. George Tiller has had, firstly, his clinic firebombed in 1986, shot in both arms by Shelley Shannon in 1993, and then, of course, lynched by Scott Roeder in front of the church he was working at, in front of the entire congregation, including his wife, on May 31st, 2009. Scott Roeder has since been sentenced to life in jail, with the crime not meeting the Kansas standards for a capital murder charge, which could have seen Scott given the death penalty. I personally think that Scott Roeder is a class 1 cold class murderer, and I also reckon Bill O'Reilly and Fox News have blood on their hands. They helped to inspire Scott to lynch George. Now, there is a little bit of evidence against this, I will admit. Mainly the only piece being that Scott had planned to firebomb George's clinic beforehand. But, but a massive piece of evidence that even Bill O'Reilly knew that he had a role in George's lynching in three stupid phases. Firstly, Bill O'Reilly wrote an article claiming that the left was using the lynching of George Tiller to silence him, including the statement, Chief among the complaints was the doctor's nickname, Tiller the Baby Killer. Some pro-lifers branded him that and I reported it. Well, Mr. O'Reilly, as we have seen before, you went a hell of a lot farther than the pro-lifers did and you definitely had a role in George Schiller's murder. Number two, you have the gall to mischaracterize your own statement, straw man your own statements, then use your own straw man to straw man your critics so you can attack them. And here is some more stupid things that Bill O'Reilly said. Remember the first statement that Bill O'Reilly played a major role in the vigilante lynching of George Tiller. And he makes repeated, cowardly attacks, straw mans and ad hominems to try to worm his slimy ass out of the fire. Anarchy and vigilantism will assure the collapse of any society. Once the rule of law breaks down, a country is finished. Thus, clear-thinking Americans should condemn the murder of late-term abortionist Tiller. Even though the man terminated thousands of pregnancies, what he did 
is within Kansas law. The accused killer, 51-year-old Scott Roeder, may have had ties to the Freeman Organization, a far-right group which rejects government authority. Now, when I heard about Tiller's murder, I knew pro-abortion zealots and Fox News haters would attempt to blame us for the crime, and that is exactly what has happened. As you may know, some in the left-wing press are blaming me for inciting the murder of late-term abortionist Dr. George Tiller. A domestic terrorist shot the doctor dead, and zealots say my reporting on Tiller motivated the man, even though there's absolutely no evidence of that. The accusers object to my using the term Tiller the baby killer. And if I could get my hands on Tiller, well, you know, can't be vigilantes. Can't do that. It's just a figure of speech. But despicable? Oh, my God. Uh, it doesn't get worse. Does it get worse? No. You know how much it pains me to tell you this, Bill, but you have been magnificent on George Tiller to begin with and magnificent on on his murder. Um, well, thank you. And I know I noticed there haven't been a lot of people talking about it. I'd, I'd like to think it's because they're hung over from the hooray George Tiller is dead party, but I think that's not it. This one random nut who shot Tiller, I don't really like to think of it as a murder. It was terminating no, Tiller he, he was in the 203rd trimester. But you can't you can't diminish what that killer did or you have anarchy. I am personally opposed to shooting abortionists, but I don't want to impose mo my moral values on others. Okay. With that final one, notice that Bill O'Reilly, as a last resort, had someone who is even more of a lunatic than he is on his show to make him look sane. It didn't make you look sane, Bill. It made you look like a coward, running from the implications of your actions, and you should be ashamed of yourself. But then again... We all know that you're not ashamed about this, Bill. Because, frankly, you have no shame. In fact, you have negative shame. You're just a moron. Vigilantism, including the vigilante that you inspired, is illegal. The force often used is unjustified. And Bill O'Reilly is a shameless, corrupt, vile human being. Have a great day, everyone. And fuck Bill O'Reilly, this sexist, racist, homophobic piece of shit.